So this video is my first look at Jimdo, and Jimdo is a website building platform that's supposed to make it really easy for you to build your own websites. So this is kind of like an unboxing video, if you will, but for a website building platform. Now, I've never used Jimdo before, so this is really my first look at it. And what I'm going to be looking for is, is it easy to use? How fast will it allow you to build a website? Is it going to be flexible? And basically, is it the right kind of tool to easily make a website? And here at Real Website Hints and realwebsitehints.com, my website, I'm all about trying to help you find the best and easiest ways of building a great quality website. So let's go ahead and let's unbox Jimdo and see what it's like to use as a website building platform. So again, this is the first time I'm using Jimdo. I've never used it before. I'm going to go ahead and buy the uh, base plan here. Let's see what how much that is right now at the time that I'm filming this. Um, so the start plan is $9 a month. I'm going to be including an affiliate link to Jimdo down in the description below. So if after watching this video, you're interested in getting Jimdo, consider using that link because that link helps support this channel and it helps me do things like be able to go and buy Jimdo like I'm doing right now and lets you know what I think about it and also provide some free tutorials that will help you build your own website. So I thank you for your support. So I'm just going to go ahead and click, I'm going to click start now, I guess right here. Okay, so I'm going to click new here because I'm new here. Don't have an account yet, so I'm going to enter in my email address. And I'm going to create a password. I guess I'll click this. I'm not sure about that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and sign up. And I'll go over and confirm my email. All right, go Jimdo, confirm now. Okay, and with the start plan, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to do the two-year subscription because, honestly, I'm not too sure if um, I want to use it. Okay, so just uh, waiting for the sign-up here, I suppose. Okay, so I guess I click on go to my website. So for this uh, test here, um, very first look at Jimdo, I think I'm going to do a portfolio website just because I know that that's a common thing that people like to do. So I guess I'm going to say as for an individual, later on uh, when I do my full review of it, I will be trying some of the other features for the more business-oriented websites. So it looks like here they're trying to narrow down what kind of website you're going to be making. And so I'm going to say it's a project that I might like to turn into business. So I've got a bunch of photographs that I've taken. Um, I don't sell my services as a photographer, but it's something that you know maybe I'll want to get back into. So I'm going to say it's a project or hobby uh, that I might like to turn into a business and see what that does. Okay, Tim Martin Photography. We'll just give that as a name. Oh, interesting. So I guess it's searched for Google um, for businesses with that name. This is not my business, so I'm going to skip on that. Um, but this is one of the interesting things that Jimdo is supposed to be able to do, which is pull your information from sources like uh, Google or Facebook and then uh, auto-populate that. And then I think that you can pay for an additional service where it also help you sync the information between your website and things like Google, Google Business and Facebook uh, business pages. That way you can... Theoretically, I haven't tested this again, uh, but adjust the information in one place, like just on your website, and have like the hours and the general information about your website updated automatically. And if that actually does work, which I will be testing in the future, um, that could be a major time saver uh, for people running uh, small businesses. So I'm going to do continue, start without. I'm going to click showcase my work since um, as a photographer, that's what I would want to do. But there's some other options here like promote a physical business, announce an event or project, uh, get customers to contact me. So if you're a consultant, you might want to do that. Um, online bookings, if you run some sort of a professional service business, you might want to do that and sell online. So I'm going to do showcase my work. Oh, okay. And so this is interesting. I've got uh, different topics here. So these look like some fairly common topics that you'd want to do if you had a, if you were creating a portfolio type of website. So in my case, it's photography. So I'm going to click on photography. 
My Instagram profile, honestly, <laughs> right now is pretty weak. Um, so I'm gonna just upload my own photos later on instead of going from Instagram. But if you've got a um, Instagram profile, this might be a good way to do it. And I don't know what this means. What is my style? I, mean, I would definitely say my style is dark. Uh, typically, I sort of like to take photos with very little light and dark backgrounds. Um, not really any indication of what these things mean, and I have no idea if it's something you can change later. But I'm going to go with dark because that's typically what I like. So let's see what that's like. Okay, so this is um, kind of an important thing when you're building a website is to decide on the main colors that you want for your website. Um, I'm going to go with these colors because that's probably actually what I would pick. Um, doesn't, I'm just curious here, clicking around just to see if there's a way to adjust the colors if you already know, like, no, these are my colors. I want these to be the colors. Um, but I'm going to go with uh, these colors here. It does say you can change this later on, so I guess that's good to know. I wonder what the difference is between a gallery page and a portfolio page. Um, about me page, but I guess I'll go with all of them. Uh, I'm gonna do a contact, oh. Yes, I want these things. Oh, I guess you can only have three pages. Choose up the three pages in addition to your home page. So I guess instead of contact, I will do about me. Kinda wish it would give me a few more options, but I, I do think that if you're trying to make a website quickly, kind of pushing you into like, just take one or two. <laughs> um, it's definitely gonna help you get started quickly. I'm gonna go with this one here. Um, I think it looks kind of cool. Preview, I mean, again, I said I like a dark look and that's definitely the kind of thing I like. Let's go ahead and start with this. It says I can change it later. Okay, so here we are. There's a, an assistant here, I'm gonna need that. Okay, so it's sort of kind of like walking me through um, building my website. And again, you know, if I was uh, telling somebody what to decide on when first building a website, definitely picking a font is what I would do. And it looks like this is giving you font sets. So it's a set for the heading and a different uh, font for the body text. And that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a great, great way to start. I kind of wish more website builders did that for you or gave you those kind of options. Um, Gonna definitely say I like these first uh, three that they're offering me first. That's a little bit too, I don't like the W in there. I do like to have the font sizes generally a little bit bigger than standard font sizes. I wonder if I would go with large. Is it changing the body font sizes? Yes. I'm gonna go with large. I mean, I just wanna make sure that people can easily read the content that I put on my website. Um, choosing a font. I kinda of like that, but I'd like it to be a little bit sharper edged, if that makes any sense. I kinda of like that. No, nope, nope, don't like that. Oops, I guess that's it. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that looks cool. Um, all right, let's go for that. All set, go done. Add images or videos. I'm obviously gonna need to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. I wonder what this is here. I guess I click on the picture thing. Let's upload some images. So one of the things I did, um, so I put together a bunch of different images that I have for different websites that I want to build. And so one of them here is their portfolio website. So we've got this and I've got a bunch of different categories of these. So I'm going to go for my fire and effects photography, kind of like the photography that I think I'm the most proud of. And I'm just going to see if I can just update, upload all of these images at once. There we go. So those are my fire product photography photos here. Um, not too sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and add this image. Okay, cool. That is um, that is pretty cool. So next step, add a logo. Now this is another thing that this is supposed to be able to do is help me 
design a logo. Um, let's see if it does that here. Let's, yeah, create a logo. As I say, I am kind of liking this. I, I think what I like about it, it doesn't really feel like I've got a ton of design control, which I usually like to have, but I also feel like this is helping me get this website just done. Just like get it, you know, off my plate is something I need to do and like, let's just move on and do some of the other things that I need to do in my business. Okay. So here we got some interesting logo ideas. Oh, I kind of like this, that's kind of cool. And I do like red as an accent color. I think it does stand out. Um, oops, is there more? Okay, I guess these are the options. Um, let's start with this. I hate the font, I will have to say that. Um, I kind of like that design thing. I'm gonna go with that, I think I like it. Um, now what layout do I like? I think I like this with a little underline under it. Now can I change the font? Yes, we can, thank goodness, because I hate that font. There we go, I like that. Um, that's cool, the colors, I like this deeper red. No, I think I like this. Boom, done. <laughs> um, Tim Martin Photography. Yeah, that looks professional, right? All the professional logo files you need. Oh, so and then you can download these logo files um, and use them for other things. Um, this is what your website could look like. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and download those. Show off your, let's just download the logo. Um, probably should have an attorney read over those uh, information, but that's okay. All right, how do I get back to my homepage? Here we go. So I did the logo. It's just going to take me back to the... Logo. Upload a logo. Okay, so that's the logo I just uploaded. Upload images. Logo large, logo small, logo PNG, small. I'm gonna assume it's the small one that needs to get uploaded. Ooh, that is a problem. Um, I did see one that said it was white, so let's see if that was gonna be the right one for, uh, I guess it's all white. I kinda wish it was white with the red. I wonder if there's a way to do that. Anyways, I'm just gonna go with the all white one since that's gonna look the best on this page. Okay. Um, I'm gonna delete this since it says the same thing the logo says. We don't need that. Um, I guess I need to have some little title information here. Just gonna go with whoa, whoa, whoa! Fire photography. Go with your products. Your products stand out with fire. Cool. Oh, this is cool. So there's some different layout options here. Of course, it doesn't look. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave this demo text in here for now. Um, but I kind of like the look of that, and I could say something about my photography work here. What makes me different? My motivation, my project. So it's giving you some ideas of, you know, what you might want to say. I want to go to the gallery here. Um, let's put an image in here that is actually mine. Um, so I've got this one that I took here. See if that fits in there well. Cool, that looks good. And the black matches with my images, so I think that was a good choice to do the black background. Um, okay, so how do I edit those pages? So let's see what the gallery page is all about. 
Oops, I don't want a page underneath that. Go to. Um, how did I do that? I wasn't even paying attention. So I mean, to me, that that does say something about. Um, how did I do that? Oh, pages. Okay. It says something about the overall usability of this. Is that I've sort of just I'm fumbling around here again. I've never used this before, and I feel like I'm definitely getting someplace helpful. So I definitely like that. Um, okay. So. Let's just add, can I multi-select? No. So I'm just going to add these images in here. Swap these out. I don't know what you guys think of these fire photography shots. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you think they're any good? Do you think I should, you know, keep pursuing this or should I just keep up here with the, the YouTube videos? Uh, so that's the duplicate thing. I don't really want to duplicate. I do want to see, okay, how do I add an item? That's how you do it. I'm just going to put in another one of these. Cool. Okay, so there's a gallery page. Are there any options? Block design on what this looks like image. Okay, so this is sort of like the different size images you can have. I do, what I like about this, kind of get a preview of what, what this is gonna look like. I'm the, okay, this looks like, uh, this. it's kind of hard to tell because everything's black, but this looks like it's a uh, mosaic layout here. Um, it is cutting off the top of the fire on this. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, for, for this, I'm just going to go with that. There we go. Slideshow columns. I could do different column layouts like this, or I guess what you could have, let's see what this does. Oh, yeah, I could have like some text down below each one of these. Um, hmm. I wonder how I go back. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to image here, I guess, and then reselect the one that I chose, which was what, this one here? Okay. No, I like the menu. That's cool. Um, obviously not good for this, but maybe good for if you have a menu website, for example. That is really cool. Okay, sorry, I'm getting lost here, guys. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see here, if I go to the portfolio page, I wonder what the difference is between, in their view, between a gallery page and a portfolio page. Oh, you know what I could do here um, is if I had more photos, which I don't at the moment for those things, but I could go here over here to the block designs and then do columns and then have like different categories for uh, the different kinds of portfolio images I have. So I'm, I'm going to do that just right now just to kind of show an example of this. So add image here. Bear with me here for a moment, guys. And I think here, what one thing I'm noticing with this uh, is that it's probably a good idea is it does seem to like the square uh, images for a lot of the different layouts. So having square images ready to go for your website might be a good idea. Um, so I'm just gonna Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. That I don't like. Can I Command Z? Oh, you can. So um, that's a good thing to know. You can do a Command Z. So I think what's happening here is when I'm backspacing this, it's making it all one heading style. So I'm just going to leave the Y in there and then delete the Y later to keep that space in there so I don't have to go back and readjust it. I'm sure it's pretty easy to readjust, but I just don't want to. Technology. Photos. Product photos. Okay. And then how do I make this button work? Oh, let me just make a link here and link to a page. <laughs> so we have all of our existing pages here. So I could have this link to just the gallery page there. Product gallery. And I could give each of these a name. This is really, this is actually really easy. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to keep going at this for a little while. I don't want you guys to have to watch uh, this this whole thing for me going through it. And then I'm just going to kind of summarize 
I'll show you guys what I made and then I'll kind of summarize what I think of Jimdo in this really quick first look review. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I went through and pretty much built this entire portfolio website for my photography and I was pretty happy with the outcome. I actually had a lot of fun putting it together. I kind of dove into it a little bit farther than I thought I would. And I spent about an hour, hour and a half um, messing around with Jimdo and I have to say, I kind of like it. I'm gonna be diving into it uh, more deeply, but let's take a look at um, what I came up with here. So I'm gonna click over here on the preview button and so now we're in the preview mode. Um, we can see what my website looks like. You can also preview what it's gonna look like on mobile. Now here is something I kind of wish I had a little bit more control over. I wish I could edit the image or what this block looks like on mobile because uh, quite frankly, that kind of ruins that one uh, picture I have. But probably the better idea for me would be to just change what kind of block I'm using there. But anyways, um, you can preview it on mobile so you can see what you're gonna get. Let's go back to the desktop version here. Um, you can link to different things. I made this uh, home page here, sort of different ideas of what, what to talk about. Um, I linked to the different, uh, I made some different portfolio pages, one for my fire photography. I realized I didn't have enough fire photography to make this all a fire photography portfolio website, so I also added a specialty product page, which you can see here, and then I linked over to that. Okay, so we got the specialty photography page, and then down at the bottom of the specialty photography page, I added these case studies here, and then I built this case study page here where I kind of talk about this photo shoot that I did with this custom bike um, that a friend of mine made. I was even able to throw in a video. Let's see how that works. I haven't actually watched the video yet. So there we go, little time-lapse video. You can either do it from um, YouTube or Vimeo. I think if I was doing this for my actual portfolio site, I'd probably get the business edition of Vimeo and that way it wouldn't have ads or any other distractions on it. Um, but that's pretty cool. And then I just kind of like highlighted all the things that I did to make this shoot work well and added some more photos specifically about this shoot. And I you know, threw together this About Me page. Um, I'd probably do a kind of a little bit more here but I have to say I was pretty impressed. I had a good time building this website and I think that speaks volumes, um, if, especially if you're not really into building websites, having a tool that makes it fast and easy to do it and just get it done with and have it look good. And I think this looks pretty good. I'm definitely happy with how it looks. Um, makes it a great tool. So you'll be seeing more about Jimdo on this channel. I'm gonna be doing some tutorials. I'm gonna do a tutorial on actually how to build a portfolio website using Jimdo. This was just kind of a trial and it worked out pretty well. Also be doing a tutorial video on how to do a restaurant website, um, a small business website, a couple other tutorials, and then I'll do a final review of Jimdo after I've had you know some more chance to work with it. Okay, so that was my first look at Jimdo and I have to say I've messed with it for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. I have to say I was very impressed at how quickly I was able to make a pretty good looking website. Now, it might not be for everyone because if you really want to get into design and you really want to sort of be able to tweak every little aspect of the design, so far in my looking at it, it doesn't seem like you can do that. Now I'm gonna be looking at it more in depth to see whether you can adjust things like you know maybe the button colors or things like that. But I do have to say, if you're looking to make a website just really fast, you don't want a lot of options, you want something that looks good, based on somebody else's advice, which is kind of what this does for you, kind of gives you like a, do you like this better or do you like this better? And in some cases it'll give you multiple different options, like multiple different options for the kind of blocks or for what you're, you want your gallery page to look at. And that is really helpful. And I think if you're looking to just get a really nice looking website done quickly, Jimdo might be a great answer for that. So stay tuned for more videos on Jimdo. I'm gonna be doing some tutorials. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make a restaurant website to be doing an actual tutorial on how to make a portfolio website rather than just messing around kind of like I did here. And I'll be doing a uh, online store and an online business tutorial. And then I'll also have my full reviews. So be sure to look for links to those videos in the description down below. And if you found this video helpful, consider giving me a thumbs up. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.